Understanding Neuropathic Pain and Its Treatment in Conventional Medicine. Introduction. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Medical Specialists Associates Educational Series in Pain Medicine. In this video, we'll explore neuropathic pain, a complex and often debilitating condition. We'll delve into the science behind neuropathic pain and discuss various treatment options available in conventional medicine. What is neuropathic pain? Neuropathic pain is a type of chronic pain caused by damage or dysfunction in the nervous system. Unlike nociceptive pain, which results from tissue injury, Neuropathic pain arises from abnormalities in the peripheral or central nervous system. Causes of neuropathic pain. Neuropathic pain can result from various conditions, including 1. Diabetes mellitus, diabetic neuropathy due to prolonged high blood sugar levels damaging nerves. 2. Postherpetic neuralgia, persistent pain following shingles, herpes zoster infection. A chemotherapy induced peripheral neuropathy, nerve damage caused by certain chemotherapy drugs. 4. Trauma, nerve injury from physical trauma or surgery. 5. Central nervous system disorders, multiple sclerosis, stroke or spinal cord injury. Pathophysiology of neuropathic pain. 1. Nerve damage and sensitization. Ectopic discharges. Damaged nerves can generate spontaneous and abnormal electrical signals, leading to ectopic discharges. Peripheral sensitization, increased sensitivity of primary sensory neurons in the dorsal root ganglion, leading to heightened pain perception. Central sensitization, enhanced responsiveness of neurons in the spinal cord and brain to normal or sub-threshold inputs, resulting in pain amplification. Molecular and cellular mechanisms, Ion channel dysfunction, altered expression and function of sodium and calcium channels contribute to hyperexcitability of neurons. Neuroinflammation, activation of glial cells, microglia and astrocytes, and release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, TNFA, IL-1, IL-6, exacerbate pain. Neurotransmitter imbalance, imbalance in excitatory, glutamate, and inhibitory, GABA, neurotransmitters in the central nervous system. Clinical Features of Neuropathic Pain Patients with neuropathic pain may experience a variety of symptoms, including 1. Burning or shooting pain, intense, often described as electric shocks 2. Allodynia, pain from stimuli that are not usually painful, such as light touch 3. Hyperalgesia, exaggerated pain response to normally painful stimuli 4. Paresthesia, abnormal sensations such as tingling or numbness Diagnosis of neuropathic pain. Diagnosis involves a thorough clinical evaluation, including 1. Patient history, detailed history of symptoms, onset, and associated conditions. 2. Physical examination, neurological examination to assess sensory and motor function. 3. Diagnostic tests, nerve conduction studies, NCS, assess the function of peripheral nerves. Electromyography, EMG, evaluate muscle and nerve function, imaging MRI or CT scans to detect structural abnormalities, conventional treatments for neuropathic pain, unpharmacological treatments, antidepressants, tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, amitriptyline and nortriptyline inhibit reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine, modulating pain pathways. Serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, duloxetine and venlafaxine enhance serotonin and norepinephrine levels, providing pain relief. Anticonvulsants, all gabapentin and pregabalin bind to the A2D subunit of voltage-gated calcium channels, reducing excitatory neurotransmitter release. Topical agents, lidocaine patches, provide localized pain relief by blocking sodium channels in peripheral nerves. Capsaicin cream depletes substance P, a pain neurotransmitter, reducing pain signaling. Opioids, reserved for severe pain, used with caution due to the risk of dependence and side effects. Marijuana, cannabinoid system. Marijuana contains cannabinoids, primarily THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, and CBD, cannabidiol. These cannabinoids interact with the endocannabinoid system, which is involved in regulating pain, mood, and inflammation. Mechanism of action. THC and CBD bind to cannabinoid receptors, CB1 and CB2, in the nervous system. CB1 receptors, predominantly located in the central nervous system, modulate pain perception and neurotransmitter release. CB2 receptors, mainly found in peripheral tissues, play a role in immune response and inflammation reduction. Clinical evidence, 
several studies have shown that cannabinoids can reduce pain intensity and improve quality of life in patients with neuropathic pain. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Pain found that inhaled cannabis significantly reduced pain in patients with peripheral neuropathy, legal considerations. It is important to note that while marijuana is illegal at the federal level in the United States, it is legal for medical use in many states. Patients should consult their healthcare provider and understand state laws and regulations regarding its use. Un non-pharmacological treatments, physical therapy, exercise and manual therapy to improve function and reduce pain, a cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, psychological approach to manage pain perception and coping strategies, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, TENS, electrical stimulation to modulate pain signals. Three, interventional procedures, nerve blocks, injection of anesthetics and steroids around affected nerves to provide pain relief, spinal cord stimulation, SCS, implantation of a device that delivers electrical impulses to the spinal cord to modulate pain signals, intrathecal drug delivery, direct administration of medications into the spinal fluid for targeted pain relief, emerging therapies and future directions. One, regenerative medicine, stem cell therapy, potential to repair damaged nerves and reduce neuropathic pain, gene therapy, targeting specific genes involved in pain pathways to alleviate symptoms, two, neuromodulation, OE, peripheral nerve stimulation, electrical stimulation of peripheral nerves to modulate pain, deep brain stimulation, DBS, targeting specific brain regions to alter pain perception, a biologic agents, monoclonal antibodies, targeting pro-inflammatory cytokines and receptors involved in neuropathic pain. Conclusion, understanding the complexity of neuropathic pain and its underlying mechanisms is essential for effective management. Conventional medicine offers a range of treatments from pharmacological to interventional approaches tailored to individual patient needs. Ongoing research and emerging therapies hold promise for more targeted and effective pain relief in the future.